How's it going, everyone? I didn't really want to make this video. It's not going to be fancy at all. There, there's people that have made some amazing videos, like like Siki's video and Aeon's video and whatnot. There, there, there's a lot of good videos out there. Vortrox, there's tons. I just want to take a brief moment at the beginning of this video to say a lot of the information that I'm going to mention is based off of Aeon's video. So Aeon and Volcanium did a lot of research to put it together, and I am just using that info to present these people that I'm about to present to you. So uh, go and show them some love. Volcanium, Aeon Air. They deserve a lot of mad respect for compiling this information. I'm just going to be talking to a camera and giving you my thoughts and feelings on the Space UK hacking situation because it's it's been requested a lot. A lot of people want to know what I think about this. Well, I'm going to talk about it. For some of you that don't know, because there are a lot of people on my channel that don't follow Geometry Dash News closely, uh, Space UK, who is the top player, the top player for a very long time, I believe two years, the top of the Pointer Crate Demons' leaderboards, um, who is seen as this amazing prodigy at Geometry Dash, who I also, on my streams, would call a prodigy, and I, I would send people over to his channel because I was like, look at how awesome he is at the game. Go support this guy. Ah! It was found out that he was a cheater, and uh, he was using really simple methods to cheat, and it was all under everyone's noses. He was friends with a lot of the other top players in the game and uh, would message back and forth and share his progress. He would like do a little stream thing on Discord and say, hey, this is how I'm doing these levels and blah, blah, blah. Most people didn't suspect it. It, it seemed really legit. The way he was talking about the game on Twitter, the way he's like, man, I'm getting bored with the game. I'm just too good at this. Ha ha, la di doo di doo, you know, like... It, it seemed like he was just this legit prodigy who he's also like a pianist. And I remember Aeon was telling me one time that the way space remembers levels is it's all it's all through audio. He can literally like hear someone's clicks playing a level and he can memorize those clicks easily and he can succeed on these levels. And like everyone thought he was just a prodigy. Turns out he's a cheater. Little disclaimer, don't send any hate to space. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about space later in the video. So just sit tight for then, but don't don't go, oh, you're a hacker, Bleh, screw you. Don't do that shit. No one likes that. Don't do it. It's not what this video is about. So space is a cheater. And before the video even goes on to my thoughts on cheating in general and cheating in video games, I have to talk about the people that were affected by this and the people that should have had their time in the spotlight that was basically erased because of space cheating. Space got away with cheating for about two years. He hacked the Golden, I believe, which was supposed to be like his, was his fifth demon or 60? I don't know. It was, it was one of his earlier demons and he couldn't finish it. He got 96% on it and he just decided to hack it. And then from that point on, he hacked everything. So a lot of people from that point on, when he started making a name for himself, like verifying Slaughterhouse and completing the top demons list, there were a lot of other players that should have had some time in the spotlight for either verifying like a new hardest level that would have been the hardest level if Slaughterhouse hadn't been, you know, verified by space and also people that should have been at the top of the point of create leaderboards and should have achieved that crown of being the best player in the game. A lot of people, when they talk about hacking in Geometry Dash, they, they think of it as just, ah, oh, we, well, we expose this person. Let's, let's just move on. And they talk about it like it's a victimless crime <laughs> in a way. It's not... Not a crime, okay. People just talk about it like it's victimless, but it wasn't because there were some really good players at the game that should have had that top coveted spot and they got it ripped from them. And it's really disheartening when you're a really good player at the game and you feel like you should be top, but there's just someone who's so incredibly good and you're like, well, that person's way better than me. Man, that's disheartening. Maybe, maybe I won't play as much as I should. And so that happened to like a lot of players. A lot of players that might have played the game more trying to hold their top spot if space hadn't been hacking. It changed an entire two years of Geometry Dash top player history. So I'm going to go over a bunch of the people that were affected by this because I want you guys to go and show these top players your support. Your homework is to go and subscribe to these channels and to show them some support, like their videos, leave a comment and say, hey, I recognize you, you, you were the best. You should have had that coveted title of being the best in the game. And we see you, we see your efforts. And I want you to show these players your support. So the first one is Spirit X. Spirit X was the top player in the game until Space came and took their spot. And so Spirit X would have been the top player in the game for a lot longer than they would have had it for if Space hadn't come up and hacked a bunch of levels and stole that spot. So Spirit X, go show them some support, go subscribe, do your thing. 
So the next player I'm going to talk about is a player that a lot of you guys are familiar with is GD Crisis. GD Crisis was the second, second top player in the game. However, that is loadable because Space had stolen the first place spot. In December 2021, Crisis would have had the number one spot if Space didn't have that number one spot. So Crisis would have been the best player in the game for quite some time if Space wasn't hacking. Crisis should have been the number one player in the game. Imagine having your number one player title ripped away from you because the person that was seen as more skilled than you is just a hacker. That really sucks. Crisis should have gotten way more attention at that time, which by the way, a little aside here, the reason why we say this is not a victimless thing that happened is because a lot of people, because space was number one, gave space a lot of views on videos and that translates to ad revenue. It translates to fame. It translates to power in the community. Space stole that away from people who rightfully deserved it. Like Crisis, for example. Crisis could have had probably more views, more power on the demons list, like more, uh, his opinions would have meant more on the demons list, right? Because a lot of people on that work for the demons list, they would trust space to give his opinion and say, hey, where do you think this should place? And they would believe him. More of that will come up later. But it, it stole a lot of power. It stole a lot of money from ad revenue and stuff away from Crisis, who should have been the top player. So let's all go. Let's subscribe to Crisis and say, man, good job on all your completions and leave some nice comments and check out the videos. All right. The next top one player would have been Wolves if Space hadn't hacked. Wolves surpassed Crisis to be on the number two spot. Uh, somewhere in between Crisis and the next person we'll talk about, the date is a little unclear, but Wolves would have surpassed Crisis, and it should have been for the number one spot, but it wasn't. But then again, you got to think about this. If Space didn't have that top spot, maybe Crisis would have tried harder to keep the top spot away from Wolves, and maybe the entire history of Geometry Dash would have been different, but we'll never know because Space hacked. Which is, that's like the part that's so frustrating. Like, we'll never know what could have been. There could have been this fierce competition of a lot of very equally skilled players, like it should have been. But instead, we got just space as number one for a very long time. And I hate it. I hate the situation. I hate it. Anyways, Wolves would have been number one. And so let's, let's go show Wolves some love. Go subscribe, a part of your homework, and uh, leave some nice comments and watch a lot of Wolves videos, please. The next person is called Big Thunder 556 and Big Thunder would have been the top player after Wolves in May of 2022. If Space had not hacked, Big Thunder would have had that coveted spot of number one, but got it ripped away from them. Please go subscribe to Big Thunder, show them some support and let them know that they were the best at one point. They were the best and they deserve a lot more fame and attention that they got that was ripped away from them from Space UK. Next person on the list is Lania Key, or formerly known as Jeller, which would have been the best in July 2022. So if Space had not hacked, Lania Key would have had the number one spot and would have been the best player in the world and also would have been, I think, the first ever number one top Korean player to have ever existed. I don't think there's ever been a top Korean player, according to Aeon Air. So that's, it could have been this a big thing, a big crowning achievement. And look at me, look at what I did for Korean players in the Korean community, woo! It could have been this big thing, but it wasn't. Because Space UK hacked and stole the number one spot from all these people that are mentioned. Go show Linea Key some support. Go subscribe, go to this channel. Link is it, links for all these people are in the description, by the way. And it'll be in a pinned comment, so yeah, go show some support. And the last person I'm going to mention for top spots on Pointer Crate is Snowballer, who would have been the best player in the game come October 2022 if Space hadn't hacked. Go and show Snowballer some love. Snowballer, just looking at the homepage, you're seeing all these insanely hard levels uh, beaten in like a fairly short time span, considering how hard these levels are. Go show them some support. Go subscribe because they absolutely deserve it and leave some kind words. Um, in the comments about how you see that they were the best at a certain point. And uh, yeah, go show them some love. So those are all the players that would have been top one, but there's actually some players that should have been true first victors of certain demon levels. Um, if 
Space hadn't hacked them, right? The first one I want to mention is Slaughterhouse. Now, Space verified Slaughterhouse, but Doggy was trying to verify it as well. And Doggy was really close and Doggy just really loves the level. In, in one of Doggy's videos, Doggy mentions that uh, Slaughterhouse is like a little brother to him. Kind of, he really wanted to beat that level. It was like such an integral part of his life for so long. But Space hack verified at first, whereas Doggy should have been the actual verifier because he was the first one to actually beat it. So Doggy had that moment stolen from him. And from that point on, that was when Space was known as like this amazing prodigy, having verified the hardest level in the game. And so that was that was a big moment that was stolen that Doggy can't get back. It's since been corrected and uh, the videos have been re-uploaded by Ice Cave saying that Doggy's the real victor. Um, but it definitely isn't the same feeling as having achieved victory and in that moment of victory being like, I did it, I'm the victor, yeah! Like that moment was ripped away. Crisis would have been the first victor of Firework if Space hadn't hacked it. Ugh, go support Crisis, we've already mentioned him. Zoink would have been the first victor of Aerial Gleam if it wasn't for Space. I believe they like beat it within minutes of each other or something silly like that, but Zoink should have gotten that uh, he should have been the victor, the first victor. Yeah, Zoink is currently the first player in the game, by a long shot, by the way. <laughs> Zoink. Zoink has some insane achievements in the game. Trick, who actually has a lot of attention, having been the verifier of Firework, also would have been the first victor of Abyss of Darkness, if Space hadn't hacked it. So go support Trick. There's also another kind of sad story with Trick, uh, firework, it was meant to be the top one level, but Slaughterhouse was verified first. So Slaughterhouse got verified first, and so everyone went, Oh, Slaughterhouse, the hardest level in the game, a little bit harder than Firework. And so, because Space hacked Slaughterhouse and it was placed at number one, Firework was placed at number two, but Firework was legit verified and Slaughterhouse was hack verified, Slaughterhouse wouldn't have another victor until Doggy beat it later, so Firework would have had its coveted spot as number the number one hardest level in the game for a certain time until Doggy had verified Slaughterhouse. And so Trick had that moment of having verified the hardest level in the game ripped away from him, which is really sad because Firework was meant to have had that spot and it was a sad moment for uh, Team Cherry and it was a sad moment for Trick. Very unfortunate that Trick, you know, spent, what, a year verifying the level that was supposed to be the hardest, and it would have been the hardest, but that moment was ripped away from him because of space hacking. That's insane. So go show some love to Trick. Um, go leave some nice comments. That is your homework. Go subscribe. Go show some support. The next person I'm going to mention is Xyle. I probably said that wrong. Uh, one wanted to really be the first victor of Oblivion when it came out and was working really hard to do so, but because Space hacked the level to complete it, Xyle lost that chance to be the first victor of a level that they really, really wanted to be first. Really, really unfortunate. So go show them some support, go subscribe, links to all these in the description and a pinned comment. There's a player by the name of Varium that verified a level called Hard Machine, which actually I, I like Hard Machine a lot because I'm the one that sent it. I sent it. I sent it to Robta. So Varium verified Hard Machine and it was supposed to be the hardest level in the game. It was supposed to be, which it now is and has been corrected, harder than Tartarus. It is now considered harder than Tart Tartarus on the demons list. And the reason why it wasn't considered harder than Tartarus is because the list people didn't have many victors to ask and they asked space about this level and space said ah hard machine it's easier than tartarus a hundred percent even though space hacked the level and so wouldn't really have known that which one was harder or easier but but the list team they trusted space and so they trusted his opinion because he was so good at the game that they placed this below tartarus the sad thing about this is varium would have had a time in the game where he had verified the hardest level in the game because this is when Tartarus was number one. So Hard Machine would have replaced Tartarus as the number one spot and it would have gotten a lot more attention than it should have gotten being the new hardest level in the game. And so Varium had that moment ripped away from him from a hacker. Really sad. So go show Varium some support, especially particularly on this video of Hard Machine. Go leave some nice comments and go subscribe. 
An interesting thing is in the Geometry Ash Awards as well, uh, Space UK won two years in a row for being the best player in the game when really uh, Trick should have won one year and then Doggy should have won the next year. So that's rough too. It even affected the Geometry Dash Awards because everyone just thought he was a legend. That sucks. That took up a lot longer the video than I expected, but I'm glad we spent a long time on it to really truly shine the spotlight on kind of the damage that was done because that is, I think, out of this video that you're watching right now, the segment that you just watched on these players that deserve the attention and respect that they got stolen away from them, that is 100% the most important part of the video. Now I'm gonna talk about cheating in games and why it sucks. I'm not gonna talk about like how Space got away with it, how he did it, because there's tons of videos about that. Go watch Siki's video, Vortrox's video. They'll, all, they'll explain the history of cheating and like how, how space did it and everything and like everything leading up to it. Go watch those videos. I'm not going to go over that. So now let's talk about why you shouldn't cheat in Geometry Dash. Number one reason is you're cheating yourself. How can you live with yourself knowing that your achievements are fake? Like, doesn't that make you uncomfortable? Like, how can you be happy with that? Like, why would you do it if it makes you feel terrible about it anyways, right? I mean, I know I would be. I guess there's people out there that are like sociopaths and they don't they don't feel those feelings. But like most normal people, like if you didn't actually achieve something, like you can't be proud of yourself and why would you want to live like that? It's such like a negative low place to live in. Why would you do that to yourself, right? Geometry Dash is very much a single player experience. Now, when you're in the top players, sure you're competing a little bit. But you're still just playing a level. It's you versus the level. It's 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 you versus yourself. You're, and when you're cheating yourself, how can you get any benefit out of that, right? Like, I like running. And I always bring up this. I like running. But if I were in the middle of a running race, like in the middle of a marathon, where to just gr jump on a motorcycle and just drive or ride, like, and cheat and shave off, like, an hour of my time... When I finish the race, it wouldn't ma like I would feel terrible. I wouldn't I didn't achieve what I had actually done. I didn't achieve a new best time because it's not real. It's fake. And when you start cheating with games or running or whatever, you start thinking when you're getting away with it, you start thinking, wow, you know what? I bet I could lie and cheat with a whole lot of other things, maybe cheat people out of money lied to the people that are close to me for fame, attention, whatever, you know, it could snowball into other things. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to live that kind of life. As soon as you get okay with lying to yourself, like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm cheating, but whatever. It's okay. It's no, it's, it's okay. And you start lying to yourself to make yourself feel better because you know what it, you're doing is wrong, but you have to lie to yourself so you can sleep at night and you get, you get okay with like all that negativity, that self negativity, man, you, you could really desensitize yourself and start doing some terrible things. So cheat in yourself, don't cheat. Don't cheat in games even, unless it's like, dude, if you're playing like a non-competitive thing, like if you're playing GTA and you just put in a cheat code and like you just wanna go in a tank and rampage over the city, like whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm more talking about like cheating in kind of a, uh, a more competitive environment like the top players in Geometry Dash or like or just multiplayer games where you can start affecting the enjoyment of other people playing the game, which we're actually going to talk about right now. The second part of why cheating is wrong is you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting the other people that play the game as well. Like I've already mentioned, Space UK's cheating has erased basically two years. Well, it hasn't really erased, but it certainly took away key moments of two years a very long time of Geometry Dash's top player history. That's insane. So it ruined the history of the game. It also made people lose faith in the game. Like a lot of people now are going to be super judgmental of top players. Like say, for example, there's this other prodigy that comes in and starts beating all the top hardest levels. But this person's like actually legitimately a prodigy. People are going to be like, oh, look at this cheater. Just like space. Look at this cheater. You know, it's, it's going to make people lose a little bit of faith in the game, which is really sad. Right. I feel like we've gotten to a point in the game where people are really trusting because cheaters were more are more easily found out these days. But apparently, you know, apparently not. Right. Because there was a time back in the day, you know, people saw someone do the wave and decode. They're like, oh, my God, how could you do that wave path and decode? There's too many clicks. Must be a hacker. 
there have been various times in the games where people would would judge people and call people hackers and stuff. And I feel like we were kind of over that. And now like this stuff happened and it's ugh, back to this again, you know? So it's hurt the integrity of the game. And a negative part of the game losing some of that integrity is that, well, people might lose interest in the game now. Ah, oh, well, there's just hackers and cheaters galore. So what's the point, you know? Who knows who's legit and who's not? If it's so easy to get away with it, why would I try hard on this game, right? A lot of games have like anti-cheat and anti-hacking and stuff put in there, but Geometry is one of those games where like if someone's good at hacking, because space wasn't even that good at hacking. Like it was, it was easy to find out. We just all trusted him for some reason. But like, if you're actually good at it, oh my God, it would, you could easily get away with like a space UK level thing again, if you were good at hacking, which is like super unfortunate and it hurts people's enjoyment in the game. It hurt the history of the game, man. That sucks. It hurt like what could have been. It's like space just smeared a bunch of poo all over like the real history of geometry dash for self gain you know it's oh that's that sucks so when you cheat in games you're hurting other people's enjoyment of it even if you cheat in like team games like you have like an aim bot or an aim assist in like overwatch or counter strike or whatever you know you're playing against people who are maybe losing because of you where they might not have lost and you're hurting their enjoyment because maybe they've worked up their skill to a certain point where they feel like they're good at the game but then do they just get easily mowed over by cheaters and that's like not a good feeling to have right so cheating it fosters negative emotions in yourself it hurts yourself it hurts other people just don't do it you know like absolutely don't do it now we move on to the final part of this video which is going to be a little bit unexpected which a lot of people aren't talking about what space did was big it was absolutely big it wasn't victimless like has been mentioned and a lot of people were have been like hurt by it, you know, whether it be stealing views, ad revenue, power, fame, all that kind of stuff that comes with being in the prestigious top of the community. You know, we, we've already talked about it. That was it was bad. With that said, though, when someone does something bad and they realize that it was really awful and they come clean about it and they admit that. You know, they can't be sorry enough for what they've done and, you know, oof, I, I feel bad and I'm going to be better going forward and I am I hurt the community so much. You know, when they admit to what they did was wrong and then they move on and try to better themselves, that's all you can ask, right? I am a proprietor of giving people second chances. I certainly, when it comes to space, you know, he has a lot of stuff to work through. But if he came back to this game and was absolutely legit and promised never to hack again and very explicitly showed how he wasn't hacking through like piles of evidence, because if he ever did come back to the game, he would have to show lots of evidence that he wasn't cheating, right? Like full long videos. Like, I don't know. He'd have to go above and beyond to regain that trust, which is what you have to do when you make mistakes. If he were to do that, because he admitted to everything, because he said he was so sorry, that's fine. That's okay. I like to see the positive in people. I like to give people second chances. And when they admit that what they did was wrong and they want to come back from, they want to be better people. I think it's important to be accepting of that. I really, really think so. A lot of people in this day and age, I don't want to say, I don't want to say cancel culture because some people, there are people that don't admit that what they've done is wrong. And those people, they deserve probably to be canceled. But if you're absolutely sorry for what you've done and you are trying to go forward and be a better person, I think people deserve a second chance, especially if they actually do follow that right path and become better people. Some people never admit that they were wrong in the first place. And then those people, they haven't done the first step. But Space, he's made a really good apology here. He's admitted that what he did was wrong. And... uh Man, like, I'd be willing to give him a second chance if he would put a lot of effort into showing that he was legit. I like to see the good sides of people. I like to see people change for the better. A good way to foster positivity is to give people second chances. As long as they've admitted to it and they're trying to make reparations to the people um, that were hurt by it, which he is because he's going to be giving uh, all the ad revenue that he made to a lot of those other creators that were affected. Um, you know, that's all you can ask, right? 
I know a lot of people will think differently than me on this on this topic. They will want him to be done forever, you know? I mean, I don't know if he even has any desire to come back or whatever, you know, but I think forgiveness is important. The apology he made was excellent. He did a lot of damage, but he knows he knows the extent of the damage that he did. People that he hurt. And so I'm willing I'm willing to forgive. A lot of people aren't, but I think that's how you foster positivity in the world. This is going to be the last time I talk about this. I felt like I should give my opinion because I've been asked by so many people. That's that's all I really wanted to say. I don't know if I'll ever bring it up again. I'm sure we'll talk about it on stream every now and then, but yeah, you know, all I really wanted to do is draw attention to the people that deserve it and also give my opinion on cheating and then talk about the possibility of forgiveness. So many people dogpile these days on uh, people that make mistakes. People deserve a second chance if they're willing to show that they're going to change, which is pretty clear here. I'll see you later. Thanks for all the support. And as always, peace.